Ten four, Mr. Cock. Hey, <laughs> what's your ten twenty? <laughs> what does that mean? I, what's your location? I guess uh, uh, Baldwin. Baldwin. Okay. Good. Uh, what's up? Hey, I just wanted to talk about the most important amendment we got, the Second Amendment. It's more important than the first one. All right. That's why it's the second, is because it's not more important than the first. The only way to be the, free... The, fra the framers were eminently intelligent individuals. <laughs> the only way to be free is to have a well-armed citizenry. Right, sure. It's the only way to be free, yes. In the 20th century, using gun control, governments have killed more people than anything. More than disease, natural disasters. Not more than religion. <laughs> yes, it has. It has? Yeah. Dictators like Hitler, Stalin, Mao, Castro, they, they all disarmed their populations, and then look what happened to them. They put the dick in dictators. <laughs> they became third world slaves. They di they disarmed their populations. So you're drawing a connection between the disarmament of a population and a uh, di dictatorship, right? Yes. Right. Hitler was for <laughs> gun control. So the only thing uh, keeping us between uh, freedom and the next Hitler is guns. Yes. Okay. Most of the, the whole rest of the world has all disarmed themselves. We're the only ones left still with guns. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, but I don't, and, and uh, I, don't see, uh, I don't see Canada as a dictatorship. Well, they're owned by England openly. Yeah, well, England's not a dictatorship. At least the people in Canada know they're owned by the Queen. Here, we <laughs> believe, here we're owned by the Queen, too. She owns the Federal Reserve and prints the money. I thought you meant Elton John. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's why we need guns. That's, that's. That's what the Nazis did first. They made the citizens register their guns, and then they went door to door and took them. Well, hey, listen, I don't have a problem with guns. I, what I have a problem with is people who think they need 500 of them. Yeah, keep and bear arms. That means keep them. Stockpile them. No, it doesn't mean stockpile them. Besides, the whole, the whole argument that a well-armed citizenry, I mean, you know, the, the thing was written back in the days with, like, we had muskets. And so, it's changed. nothing's changed. There's still psycho control freaks running the world. Yeah, and most of them have guns. Yeah, exactly. That's why we need them. Yeah, <laughs> only the government should have guns. Only the police and military should have guns. That makes a lot of sense. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I don't understand the stockpile. Well, then the You right. got nothing the government wants. You have FEMA nothing the that National they want. The Guard are training to disarm us. You have nothing that they want. You FEMA are perfectly the National safe. Guard are training to disarm us right Sit now. Sit in your cabin, eat your bear meat. And be the, resolute in the knowledge that nobody wants what you have. If you go to Walmart or Gander Mountain, they make you they make you register. You got to fill out forms for the state police and with the feds. You know, so we already have gun registration. And the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. What's the matter with gun registration? Because now they know who has them, and now they're going to now they're training to go door to door to take them. That's what the police and FEMA and the National Guard and Homeland Security, that's what it's about. Okay, well, when, is it, when is this going to happen? Because not once has, have any of these organizations gone door-to-door -door taking people's guns. They're training to do it. I got, like, ten documentaries on it. I'll tell you what I thought was funny, though, is um, I was somewhere at the dentist's office or something, and they, this guy had a wide array of magazines, and one of them was, like, National Rifleman or something. And on the cover, it had Charlton Heston, and it says... Get get his rifle, or like you could win the Charlton Heston rifle. Yeah. I'm like, well, supposedly the only way you're going to get it is from his cold, dead hand. So how are you going to give that away? <laughs> well, he's got lots of them. I'm like, do you know something? Is he, is he dead? I mean, uh, apparently that's the only way to get it. So I hate the NRA. The NRA has so many members. They could have every gun law overturned, but they don't do anything. They just compromise on all the gun laws. And they actually argue in court that gun registration is good. Well, hey, man, they, because they understand the workings of the political machine. Y because they are the political machine. Well, if they were, they wouldn't have to compromise. Even the, the state Supreme Court in Pennsylvania has ordered the, the, the state police to get rid of their gun database and ordered it illegal. And the state police just ignore the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. Yeah. And they still have this illegal database. Well, I'm going I'm to feign ignorance on much of the uh, state and federal gun laws simply because it doesn't really interest me. But, I mean, it's, uh, again, I got no problem with guns. I just, you know, I, I, I've i lived in Michigan. I've lived in Pennsylvania. I've lived in California and Illinois. It's like, you know, the, the gun uh, crate, I mean, people obsessed with firearms, do, I, I don't understand that, I guess. Well, when the government don't control the borders and the Mexican and Chinese are now... <laughs> arming up on their own side. We got a lot of we got a lot of Chinese coming over the border. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, we already have Chinese UN troops in America. Yeah. 
I have that on tape, too, I, yeah. out in the southwest. We got Russian troops here stationed in Pennsylvania. Oh. <laughs> Okay. In the Allegheny National Forest. Okay, we have Russians in Pennsylvania. Fine. They What's make his a... name? The general who's running the Iraq war? Oh, what the hell is his name? I forget it. But he said, uh, he said, if our troops are overseas, foreign troops will be brought in here well, to sure, protect, because protect America. Who doesn't like a nice big bowl of borscht? <laughs> the Russians are already All here. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> Later. There's Conspiracy Kevin checking in with something compelling and scintillating as always. Better dead than red. I guess that's his mantra for today. It's 8.09. We'll be back. The Alan Cox Radio Show on the X.